Tonight marks the seventh night of Hanukkah, the Jewish celebration of the miracle of light that kept shining through the darkest of times. It calls to mind the miraculous survival of some Jews during the Holocaust. One such miracle includes the story of what is believed to be the last surviving twins from the Holocaust, Stephen and Marion. They were just six years old when they were sent from their home in Amsterdam to a concentration camp. The Hess family, like millions of Jews, was taken from their home by the Nazis. The Holocaust seems like ancient history, so we have to find a way for it not to be that, for that to be a lasting lesson. Sent by train in 1944 to Bergen-Belsen, a concentration camp where more than 50,000 died, including Anne Frank. Marion and Stephen credit their parents for keeping them together. They never, ever gave up and uh, they were just determined to keep us alive. The food in Bergen-Belsen was Kohl Rabbies, turnips, uh, calories, about 600 calories to keep you alive. Their father was assigned to heavy labor. Eight decades later, they still remember their mother's sacrifice. She realized that my father needed a lot more nourishment than she did, and even though we were all starving, she gave half of her portions to my father. So it still gets to me. Gets uh, to me? Yeah, uh, to keep him going. Where do you think that will to survive came from, that determination? They had a, a real sense of inner courage and strength. Stephen and Marion, now 85 years old, hope their story can be a lesson of remembrance. What has it been like? for you since October 7th? It's something that makes you watch television morning, noon, and night. There's got to be a better way. But it can't always be kind of a scorecard of how many get murdered and how many get displaced. I hope that something will happen where when these conflicts happen, that there's a real kind of effort to have a long-term solution, you know, where both sides feel like they have a chance for a future. The Hesses found their future here in the U.S., arriving by boat in 1947. What do you remember about that? <laughs> remember your parents? A lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> Our parents got us up early to, to pass the Statue of Liberty. In later life, it became a very precious memory. But whenever I see the Statue of Liberty, it rings bells because that was the symbol of our freedom and the ability of, for us to have a new life. 